Hey everybody, it's Chris here with Simple Tech, where we help you take the stress out of your Apple IT. This week we're going to be focusing on Outlook for Mac and adding a delegate. This is going to be great for the business owner or, who, or somebody who needs to add maybe an executive assistant or an administrative assistant into their emails and calendars to be able to help manage it. So if you're ready, let's get started. So as I mentioned, we are going to add a delegate in Outlook for Mac. And in this particular episode, I do have to use screenshots due to the sensitivity of the email addresses of clients and things along those lines that allowed me to record their Outlook. Um, so in this particular case, you're still gonna be able to get all the tips that you need to be able to add it. it should take, take just a few minutes. So let's get going. So the first thing you have to do, if you haven't done it yet, is obviously set up Outlook. So you have to open it, you gotta put in your email address and password and have your account configured in Outlook. Now, if you have done that already, the next step that you wanna do is we are gonna go to the account screen. So you can see here in this screenshot on my machine, we are gonna go up to the top under tools in our menu bar. And then we are gonna scroll down to accounts, which I have highlighted blue here. When we click on accounts, we are gonna get another box here that is gonna show us the accounts that we currently have on our machine. So you can see mine is kind of grayed out there where it says default account. That should be where your email address is showing. And what we're really gonna focus on here is this little section that says delegation and sharing. So you're gonna go ahead and click that delegation and sharing button, and then you're gonna get another box. And this is the box that you are now gonna see. So you can see up at the top, we have my delegates and shared with me. So your delegates is somebody who you are authorizing permission to act on your behalf. Shared with me is the exact opposite. So if somebody is sharing to you and you wanna be able to add their account, you would go in that shared with me section. And we'll, we'll go to that here at the end. So delegates who can act on my behalf the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna actually click on this little plus button in the bottom left-hand corner of that box. And when you do, you are gonna get this particular box here, which is the add delegate box. And if it's somebody in your organization or somebody that's in your contacts, you just simply have to start typing in their email address or name here, and it's gonna start auto-populating those particular individuals so you can add them. So in this particular case, I actually use my wife, Jennifer, and I started typing in her name. And once her name popped up, I selected it. And now this is the next screen once you select the person that you want to add as a delegate. This is where sometimes it can get a little confusing because these are the permissions. So these are where you are going to provide the system the information that that person is allowed to have access to of yours. So the permissions are a huge part of the setup process. And so you can see here, I clicked on the inbox and these are the different permissions that you can have. So as a reviewer, you simply can read it. You really can't do anything else with it. As an author, you could read it and you can create items. And as an editor, an editor essentially is like an administrator type of uh, permission, right? So they can pretty much do anything that they want in there. Now, if you have more questions on this, I definitely would recommend that you just um, do a Google search for Microsoft Office delegate permissions and go ahead and check out their support article that they have in there for you on a little bit more details about what these do because you can get lost in the weeds in these. Um, this is just kind of a quick overview. So once you've set those permissions um, and you have everything that you want them to have access to, you're simply gonna hit that okay button that's in the bottom right hand corner that you see there. So like if you're the business owner and you just shared to the, your assistant um, and made them a delegate on your account, this is where your assistant would go now to go, okay, I now need to access my boss's calendar or email and they're gonna go to that same accounts menu, that tools and accounts. They're gonna click on that same shared and delegation button that we did to start off. But instead of doing my delegates here at the top, they are actually gonna then choose shared with me over here on this side. And again, you're gonna hit this plus button in the bottom left-hand corner and you're gonna get the same box. 
So in this particular case, I started typing in the email address that has provided me access to um, as a delegate, and it came up here. And you can see it's just got a generic name called Website Communication, um, and that's the start of the email address. So it's kind of what's built in on a website that we have. And once I select it, and I simply hit the Add button down here in the bottom right-hand corner, now in my Shared With Me section, I can see this is the additional mailbox or contacts or calendars, whatever permissions that we set up. This is now what I have access to. And then when I hit done in the bottom right hand corner, we can leave the account screen. And when we go back to the main Outlook page where our account is, so you can see my main account is here and I have removed it. I've kind of grayed it out, right? But the one that we just added is right here highlighted in red right below it. And that is what this website communication email address has added me as a delegate. And then I went in and I said, okay, what is shared with me? Let me add that. And now I have complete access to it in my Outlook. So I would have my account, which would be hiding right above it. And then I'd be having my delegate account right below it. So thanks for bearing with me on this one. I hope this worked out for you using screenshots. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave any comments down in the field or questions that you might have and I will answer them as soon as I can. If there's any videos that you wanna see, please reach out to us and let us know and we will make those. This is an example of one of those that somebody reached out and just said, hey, how do I do this? And I was like, hey, that would be a great video. So uh, until next time, folks, remember, this is Chris with Simple Tech, where we take the stress out of your Apple IT. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great week.